the triangle. Triangle chokes work because we're affecting the arteries here, it's a triangulation, where one side is his own shoulder here, the other side is my hamstring. Hamstring, not, what's this muscle? Who's about to drink here? It's it's the one way you have that machine and you do yeah, that. No, yeah. that's not <laughs> that's okay. One is one, is, one is one and the other. Okay, so the theory being this muscle is really strong and this muscle is really shit. Right? For power. So when you have a triangle, which is here, you're trying to squeeze your leg in a way that that the leg is putting pressure on his artery there and his own shoulder is squishing here. So you have the double whammy of Strangulation on the artery, that V shape that I always go on about. So let's go through the motions and I'll give you the, the step by step and then we'll talk for, go through the detail. A very easy way to get into that is we're in closed guard. This is a closed guard position. We're pushing one arm in and we're elevating one leg up. This is the starting position. It's kind of like closed guard, but we're really high up, plus there's an arm missing. Okay? Right, so that's step one. Number two, I need to create more of an angle. Here is no good because there's so much, you see all the gaps here. There's so much gap. There's no pressure on this artery at all. I want to be here. So from this leg locked position, I hold onto my shin, which closes the circle and keeps his posture down. Now I can let this one go. I prefer to put this on the side, so I can put it here. But once you let go of the shoulder here, he has freedom to escape. So you do not want to do that. You want to keep it attached here. This allows me to change the angle. Now I lock my foot again, and you want to get the crook of your knee as high up as you can. Do not do this. <laughs> you want it high up as you can. Already you down, it's really not enjoying this at all. Right? And then it's a matter of pulling this down one and squeezing together. One extra thing I didn't mention, because he had very hard to put his arm there, is that sometimes the arm will be just be hit. Okay, so you're trying to do this, you're trying to do that, and there's a limit to how far you can go because the arm is wedging here. Simply raise your hips, push the arm over, and you complete the procedure here. Okay, and then you squeeze. Alright. Um, now, the reason I talked about hamstrings and adductors is because if you look at the angle at which I finished the technique, <coughs> if I'm here, I am squeezing, it's really the adductors here on the inside. Not as powerful as if I use my hamstring. You see the hamstring coming out on his neck here, creating a much tighter constriction around the neck. So I very, very quickly went through that. I read us for some of you that's new. Uh, I recommend you pair up with uh, someone with a colour on their belt, or at least three or four stripes. So I assume it's. You know, by the way, this, this thing of this entry here, over here, is assuming that his posture is so bad that it's, it's broken down. In reality, when we're sparring, I, I tell all you guys your posture should be good, right? So that should he let me do this, I haven't got anything because there's nothing there. So there's a lot of there are a lot of setups in order to get this position, but we have to train just the triangle. We have to assume that his posture is easily brought down here. Okay, it's in reality not there. But we're isolating just the triangle. So if you want, you can just start here. So this is like close guard. I'm interlocked on my feet. Now, in a minute, I'm going to talk about what happens if the arm is here. But for now, we're going to assume the arm is quite nice to get this diagonal. All right. I, I mentioned to some of you guys, uh, a lot of people teach it so that you move this arm first, and then you start adjusting. What I find is when I do this, then I adjust, it just brings his arm back again. <laughs> See, and then I've lost, I've lost the second part of the triangle, which is his shoulder here. This arm has to go across so that it creates pressure on the side of the neck. When his arm is here, there's a big gap. There's nothing. Okay. So, um, as long as it's sort of within this area, I feel I can adjust and then bring it over and uh, I'm here, adjusting it. Now it's harder for him to get that arm back again, all right? So, so now we're in this sort of interim position here. Um, it would be nice if you all came around so you can really, don't worry about the camera, you can see really close to what I'm doing here, just to ease up the pressure. So at the moment, what I'm trying to, my objective is, get my hamstring onto his uh, carotid artery. Uh, every movement you do must ensure that this gets closer and closer 
and closer and closer. Do you see what I mean? Putting more pressure on here. Whilst maintaining pressure on this shoulder. I've done what I wanted with the shoulder. I can't get the shoulder any closer to his neck here. Remember, there's a two parts. It's a two part strangulation. So we're here. I'm walking up here. I'm here. Not letting any gap in the shoulder. Now, when I turn my head here, see how I'm, I'm almost like climbing up his neck here. I feel ready to lock. When I lock, some people are only doing this, some people are doing this, some people do no. Your, the end of your shin has to be behind the knee. So when we're here, we're shooting up and we're down. Okay, I'm, I, I won't talk too long because it's a very horrible to deal. Okay, to finish it, your, 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 this bit's going to go down, this bit's going to go that way, your hips are going to go up, and yes, of course, Use your arm, but this is not what finishes your hands. Are, your hands are simply there to stop him posturing. So you could just hold on here. So it's like three or four things at once. So we're going to do it all together. And you know, just shoot up, squeeze hips up, and it's a horrible strangulation. It's very, very tight, very hard to get out. Um, so there's a lot of detail in that. There's even more detail I've omitted, but for now, that's enough. Uh, if you realize the objective is to get that hamstring, imagine this was Dion's neck. Closer, closer, and closer, and closer, and closer, until it's here. Then you lock up. Squeeze, hips up, and it goes up. Almost like finishing an armbar, that hips up position. So, once more guys, and we'll see how far we go with that. One, two, three. Uh, the hamstring, ideally. So when you have this action going like that, I mean, how long does it take for you to pass out? Quite a long time, right? And so that's, that's, that's a good thing. It's a slow, increasingly compressive technique. It's like a snake around your neck, slowly strangling you. Never letting go again, strangling it until you have no choice but to tap or you're going to sleep. A bad triangle, stri uh, triangle, it hurts immediately. Why does it hurt immediately? Because it's not a triangle, it's a neck compression, it's a neck crank. Which technically is illegal in Jiu Jitsu, but people do it anyway. And, um, uh, borrow, uh, sorry, uh, I'll bring you in. I won't. You can the same way, If it cranks your opponent's neck, you're not doing the triangle properly, is my, the point I'm trying to say. So let's say we're here, and we're here. The old way of teaching triangle, everyone used to say, your shin you should be at least the same line as his shoulders, like this. Okay? Look how much gap, by the way, between his neck and my hamstring. So what they do is this, and then they do this, and they, go, they adjust it, but they adjust it so that the leg is more in line with the shots as they've been taught. But there's still a huge gap between his neck and my hamstring. I'm not going to get the strangulation. So they, and then they pull the head down, and they kick this down as hard as they can, and what you're going to get is basically a lot of pressure here, isn't it? You can feel it. Yeah, really it's like an iron bar for a cervical vertebrae. Um, and it's horrible, yes you're going to get it out, but it's a terrible technique, it's not a strangulation. So when you do the triangle, don't expect your opponent to tap immediately, or just keep doing your technique. And don't worry so much about the angle of your uh, shin, worry about what your hamstring is doing. The hamstring should be <coughs> doing that. Oh, I wish I could sort of do it to all of you. But. Yeah. If, if there's a gap here, you know. And plus you've got guys with huge necks. So the sort of the, the bully boy version of triangle where you're using like this a bar against the neck is doomed to failure if, if they're really gonna just tough it out. Whereas the strangulation is only everyone's gonna tap from there as long as you get it right. Alright, so always try and go around with the principles behind what you're trying to do with the triangle. Let's look at a situation where I'm here, the starting position, is arms here. And I can't bring it over, but I also do this, so I'm trying to find the best angle as I can, but I'm just can't bring it over. So we're now looking at tactics of how to finish the triangle where the arm is on this side. Now bear in mind the principles. I want pressure here, and I want the shoulder doing that, swashing against his jaw like here. Okay, that's what I want. If his arm is here, look at his shoulder a bit. It's very far away, so I'm only, I can only work on one component. I can't work on the second component. What we need to do is find a way to make this shoulder move here. And one of the ways is when you bring your legs towards you, see how your shoulder moves like that? Moves into his. Can you see those? 
Okay. So now we're looking at techniques that bring your legs towards you. So let's start moving on. I'll give you a technique to do. We're going here, we're jumping up, but his arm stubbornly refuses that. I'm still going to do my thing the best as I can. But it's, 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 this is about as good as I get. Look at the gap here. If I bring him towards me, I encompass my arms together like this, I can squeeze. <laughs> so it's a different kind of technique. It's not technically a triangle with my legs because I haven't done the figure four. It's kind of like here. But what I am doing is squeezing like this. Squeezing. In effect, it's the same technique because I'm doing the same thing. I'm putting pressure here, and I can put pressure here with his own shoulder. Um, you someone else, so like, you can see this. Um, do you don't mind me showing this again on you? Yeah, good. Okay, all right. I'll give you a naked rest. So, so partners, your hand is here. It doesn't matter where it is, but you see the gap. I can solve one problem here, this bit. This hand shrink can easily go into his neck. But this bit, there's a huge gap. And no matter how hard I try, I cannot, cannot turn around to make sure we're going to. So I bring him towards me, and I just hug my own legs, grab my, and see what happens to his shoulder. He squishes his shoulder into his, his neck there. And we squeeze, and bring your hips up as well. You can feel that. Yeah. It's a variation of the tiki choke, which is that one. But I want to show this one because it also locks your posture there. Yes? Okay, one, two, three, let's go. Let's look at this thing again. So we've moved into the triangle, we've broken this posture, but the arm is jammed here, okay? And we're trying our best to do the thing, thinking that we can move the arm, but it's wasted here. Some people are struggling to get to do this that I did here. Some people can't quite. One thing that we can do, I just showed you that, is you move out and in again. And that loosens it and brings it in towards you. Now it's like, like this. If that's still not working, you can go underneath and do this. It's not so much the technique that you're doing that matters, it's the objective is to squeeze his shoulder. <laughs> see what he, look at his shoulder, guys, okay? Try and see what the T here, what the A is doing, right here. So with the first version, I'm over here. See what his A is doing? Yeah, all right. See what the second version is, and we're going underneath. The A is impressive. In the version where he was stuck there, that couldn't get over, the A is not moving, is it? I go out and in, and now the A is compressing against his neck there. Final version that you can do is, I'll show this briefly a couple of weeks ago, swap the legs. So this is now called reverse, no, um, reverse figure four triangle. Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Remember we're here, and you're swapping that over here. Now what this has is, this makes this bit stronger. Even though I said the adductors were shit, but this makes the squeeze strong. See what happens? Because you can't really do that from here. You can't really. Here. Squeeze. Try that, yeah? So, try the version where we're swapping to here. And it's 